fugitive televangelist Apollo Kibuloy surrendered to authorities is considered a quote sacrifice as he does not want the supposed lawless violence to continue inside the Kingdom of Jesus Christ compound in Davao City, according to his lead lawyer, Israelito Torion. Kibuloy and four of his subordinates surrendered to authorities on Sunday, September 8, following the 24-hour ultimatum issued by the Philippine National Police, which has been trying to serve the standing warrants of arrest for his sect leader and his aides over child abuse and human trafficking charges. In his statement, Torion says Kibuloy wanted to surrender to stop the supposed lawless violence and the sufferings the KJC members have been experiencing during the police raid. According to Torion, Kibuloy was out of reach for days since he was waiting for positive results on the legal remedies that his lawyers availed. But Torion says the pastor's heart bled as sect members faced what he described as brutalities. Torreon emphasizes Kibuloy made what he called the ultimate sacrifice by surrendering even as the televangelist had the right to await the results of the legal remedies availed by his lawyers. Earlier, another lawyer of Kibuloy disputed the claim of Interior Secretary Benher Abolos that the sect leader was arrested. Attorney Ferdinand Topasio said Kibuloy voluntarily surrendered to the AFP. He then called Abolos EPAL, the Filipino slang for attention grabber, for allegedly taking credit for the supposed arrest. The Philippine National Police said Kibuloy, along with Ingrid Canada, Crescente Canada, Jacqueline Roy, and Sylvia Semanes are now under their custody after the police gave a 24-hour ultimatum on September 8. Some 2,000 police officers stormed the KJC compound on August 24 to search for Kibuloy in an attempt to serve his arrest warrant. President Bongbong Marcos maintained there were no human rights violations in the KJC compound raid. Kibuloy and his five co-accused faced child abuse cases before the Davao City Court. Pauline Canada has been under the custody of authorities since July. Likewise, Kibuloy has standing arrest warrants for human trafficking issued by a Pasig City Court.